Okay, hello everyone, Mr. Alberto here again, and recently with the new DNF Duel update, most characters have some wildly new routes. So today we're going to check out some of the combos that the community has found for a bunch of characters, and all the links are down below. So first, one of my favorites, Mr. Boldbeard, shows that Grappler's changes not only let him go for really cool combos, but really cool mix-ups, because he gets to combine the properties of projectile invulnerability, being airborne, and going for grabs or lows to get some crazy mix. Next, Iron Man Pato shows some ridiculous stuff with Crusader, showing that his S can just naturally combo into his god install, and goes for some combo extensions, and gets a hard knockdown into the, like, sun atom bomb, combos into it, and then just casually continues it into a TOD. On Ghostblade, by the way, who has low life, but not ridiculously low. So Crusader, big boy, big damage. Still. Next, Black Sands shows some really cool extensions with launch from mid-screen, using the nuke and basically all of her combo extending special moves to corner to corner the opponent with some extensions. So it's really cool that Launcher has all of this combo potential, and of course her corner combos are still as juicy as always. Maybe not juicy, but fun looking. <laughs> and Fudo Zen showing that even though the everyone's guard gauge was boosted to make guard pressure less overpowered, Striker still has it. And Stick Stiff Steve, oh my god, shows that Dragonite is still just as good as what she was before, doing ridiculously, stupidly extended combos, to carry the opponent corner to corner, do tons of damage over half of Striker's life and cost her next to no meter, and still gets a good hard knockdown. Look, a good knockdown, what the hell. Now Vish, uh, Vish's TV shows some of the cool new ways Ghostblade can get combos off of his new combo tools. So off of his um, 6S, he can now get combos, and really nice ones at that. It doesn't scale too badly at all, which is what I would have assumed. And then off of his 2S as well, going 2S into teleport, Get some really nice stuff, especially if you don't use many lights in the extending. You can get some real nice damage. It is Ghostblade after all, and getting nice long combos is what he's good at. Then again, this is DNF tool and that's what everyone's good at. Next, Zanj chose that Kunoichi has some slightly new combo routes. She's probably one of the surprisingly least changed characters in the game. She's got some like slightly new things, but I guess maybe I'm not a Kunoichi main, so I just can't really tell. Now, Wakaba has some really cool things like that extension with Launcher, so she can actually get conversions off of her jump A, and this is a bit more of like a, a really useful conversion. And then here, like, uh, maybe less normal conversion, getting two nukes in one combo is maybe the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Look how much damage it's already done already. Adding that um, increased lower limit damage for the nukes was a really good change for her, and oh my god, I love her combo potential now. Look at that! She could not even dream of doing that before. Next, something less lovely. Striker doing Mountain Pusher, Dash Cancel into 1 inch punch, and then doing classic Striker combos into classic Striker damage. Can't say I'm a fan, but I suppose it is kind of cool. Maybe. <laughs> Very biased, but I don't know. And next, just a short little combo by Wakaba once again, just showing some of the new extensions Berserker can get with his jump cancels. And Wakaba once again showing that Ranger has really cool combos off of his leap into helicopter, helicopter, grenade toss, and even though it's not tons of damage, it's a really, really nice extension. <laughs> and I thought this combo was really, really funny as well by Wakaba. It's just like a leapfrog grappler combo when he's in Awakening. <laughs> Even if it isn't optimal, I love this combo so much. I wouldn't even mind getting hit by it. Usually, I hate grappler combos because they're so uh, flowcharty. But this one, I'd take it. Oh, this next one is so cool. So, Hero TH shows a really awesome Lost Warrior combo. And, like, the time freeze combos are way better now because of his jump cancel. He can get jump attacks. We get so much damage in the time freeze, and he builds so much meter in Awakening because he has so much time to build it all back in the time freeze. Gets all of these attacks, teleports in, and gets- <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Luckily this isn't a TOD, but it does leave the opponent on four, like, magic onks docks. So the next hit will absolutely kill. 
and Benjamin Warrior out here representing the Ghost Blade Sweats and showing he still has his ghosty DODs, where he can absolutely go for sweaty combos, particularly against characters with low life, and just absolutely demolish them with his endless, endless, never-ending combos. It is certainly cool, and I love to see Dragon Knight deleted in one hit. Anyways, yeah, those are some cool combos that have been found out by the community in only a few days of the patch being out, so I'm sure we're going to have more to come, and with some new characters that we didn't see in this one. Like Inquisitor, I haven't seen too much yet. So if you enjoyed any of these clips, make sure to go out, uh, check the creators out that actually made the videos, because they'll have more videos based on the character of your interest and other characters, and they make really, really cool stuff. All their links are below, make sure you check them out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!